Here is some more lymphoid tissue. In fact, it looks like it's differentiated enough to be an actual lymphoid organ. And in fact, it is the most classical picture you will ever see for a regular old lymph node. This is a classic appearance for the lymph node, a lymph node, any lymph node, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, it is covered by a nice thin fibrous capsule, predominantly fibroblasts and collagen. Secondly, there is a space underneath this capsule, which is called a subcapsular sinus. And this is what is connected to the uh, incoming or afferent lymphatics. In addition, these little uh, subcapsular sinuses extend uh, along the sides of the trabecula, which separates groups of lymphoid follicles, all the way down into the medullary portion of the lymph node as medullary sinuses. Notice that in every classical normal lymph node, lymphoid follicles are only seen in the cortex of a lymph node. And in the medulla of a lymph node, you see uh, medullary sinuses, which are these lighter areas, as well as the medullary cords, which are chiefly uh, lymphocytes with uh, smaller amounts of cytoplasm. This is what makes a normal lymph node. Here is a little bit of fat surrounding the lymph node. I bet if we blew this thing up, we could see that that's probably a, either a blood vessel or a lymphatic vessel uh, coming into the lymph node. Here's a subcapsular sinus. Here is a secondary lymphoid follicle, also called secondary lymphoid nodule, with the germinal center of lymphocytes on the inside and the uh, more dark lymphocytes because they have less cytoplasm on the outside. Here is a uh, trabecular structure separating groups of nodules. Here is the extension of the subcapsular sinus along the tra trabecule to form a trabecular sinus. And last but not least, in the medullary portions of the lymph node, the sinuses continue as these rather linear medullary sinuses. Uh, in which you have islands of medullary lymphocytic cords. And for the most part, you know, most of the cells, the vast majority, 99% of the individual cells are lymphocytes. You uh, probably can see that there will be some cells which look a little bit larger nucleated and more vesicular than the lymphocyte. And these are probably macrophages. You will see an abundance of uh, uh, plasmacytoid cells or plasmacytes. And of course, you have your normal amount of blood vessels and collagen as well because uh, fibrous tissue is what makes up the uh, uh, medullary, uh, I'm sorry, the trabeculae of the lymph node. So you will also notice that unlike the tonsils, tonsils always have a, a very intimate uh, connection with the overlying epithelium. A lymph node should not have any epithelium at all. In fact, if you see epithelium within a lymph node, it is usually quite, quite suspicious for being metastatic carcinoma. So let's review some of the cells. Here are fibroblasts and collagen fibers. Here is a uh, lymphoid space, probably a subcapsular sinus. This is 100% lymphocytes. These are probably 100% lymphocytes, maybe some of them looking more like classical plasma cells, which we will discuss later. And here we are now towards the uh, medulla of the lymph node, which does not contain uh, classically too many nodules, in which you have medullary uh, sinuses, which are the lighter areas, and medullary cords of lymphocytes, which are the darker areas. And there is really nothing I could, else I could say about a, a lymph node. If you look at the periphery of a lymph node and you see thin uh, blood vessels that look like they don't have any blood inside of them, they may very well be uh, lymphatic 
vessels and 99% of the lymphatic vessels coming into a lymph node are afferent are coming in and there's only one or two or perhaps only one major efferent uh, vessel coming out of that lymph node as part of the normal lymph drainage and histologically they look the same as the afferent so if you see a, a, a lymphatic vessel outside of a lymph node or near the capsule, it, most likely it's going to be an afferent. And you know what all this stuff is, don't you? You know that that's just old regular fat. So I thank you very much, and we're off to bigger and better things.